Even guys, hope you're all doing well. I haven't done a pipe and tobacco chat for a while, so I thought I'd just do some few updates and sit back and have a chat. Currently smoking um, Boswell's Northwoods in this new Stanwell. Really gorgeous pipe. Some fantastic green. This is a, if I can recall, this is a shape 182, which is a shape that was designed by Bang, um, the pair from S Bang. Not made by them, just designed. And this is a Danish era stigma. So far, smoking really nicely. And there's a few blends that I've discovered over the last kind of some days, some uh, year or so that I thought I'd share. But this bowl of Northwoods is going down pretty well. So the first one is Kramer's Fower Dempsey. Now, I got a sample of this, the bag is, I think I must have dropped some form of stain on the bag that I originally got, but I got this a good, probably early last year sample of it. It's a fantastic blend. Uh, it's an English, if I recall it says, what's in it? Uh, Full body English mixture, uh, doesn't see the contents, but it's a uh, English, but really good blend, um, very underrated, as I think a few of the other creamers blends are, very inexpensive. Um, I think a tin runs you nine dollars. Um, so as tins, as far as tin tins go, that's pretty inexpensive. Compared to a lot and bulk, um, but if you like most blends like this, um, that they're available in bulk and obviously per ounce, um, the prices are fantastic. So yeah, I've kind of been, oh, oh, yeah, probably onto this blend for the last eight or nine months. Really good, highly recommend if you like English. Ones. And then secondly, a new blend to me. It's one I had on my list for a while, quite a while to try. Is Newminster number four hundred Superior Navy Flake. Um, again, another bulk blend. To me has a fantastic bag aroma. I'm still not sure if it's. Case are topped with um, kind of a car no, not a caramel, kind of a honey topping. Um, if it isn't, I'd be surprised because that's what that's the predominant smell when you open the bag, is that? And it tastes it too, it tastes really good. But I think what I like about it is the type of Virginias in it. I've looked and if I recall correctly, it's US, it's USA, African, and Brazilian Virginia leaf. I think that's what I've learned the last few days um, and weeks. Is the more blends I try with Virginias that are from all over the globe, it makes me realise that. There's some Virginia blends out there with, for example, Brazilian and African Virginias, which seem to be a lot much more punchy, that I much rather prefer than your classic American Virginia blends. Um, I mean, a lot of my favourite blends are still American-grown tobaccos, but recently I've got a selection here. Former's 
a strip grain flick. HU Haymaker and HU Sunset are all by Dan Tobacco and all contain a mixture of Brazilian, African, um, Philippian, I think someone else, Virginia's, along with US. But it's the combination that I think works perfectly. Um, they are much more punchy than some of your other regular Virginia blends. But to me, they're fantastic. And I mean, this HU Sunset might honestly be my favourite blend so far I've ever had. Um, I've went through a bit of tin so far. This tin's completely gone. And yeah, I just think it's absolute magic. Um, really, really good. Again, I would need to check the Teju tins don't really have anything on, on them. Um, I would need, would need to check the exact Virginias in this. Um, I'm pretty sure African is one of them. I know H, I know Haymaker has a selection of them, but I think it's um, Brazilians definitely in there too, African, and I think somewhere else. But yeah, they just contain an array of. Virginias, which are really top notch. Um, the other thing I have discovered, which I'm glad I have, is the quality of Dan tobacco. Um, I'm really, really amazed. Um, it was a brand which I never got my hands on in our blends. Um, I don't know if it's particularly, especially the formers, I think they're very overlooked. Um, I never kind of overlooked them. I thought it was one of those things where, hey, it's just a pipe maker who's put their name to a blend. Um, but I mean, fantastic blend. I will definitely need to try the rest in that series. I think there's four. Although I've heard the private flake is one you can give you can give a miss. Um, but the other three. Cross grain flake and bird's eye flake are meant to be equally good. But so far from what I've heard and what I've experienced, Dan Tobacco are producing some fantastic blends. Um, I think they make about half of the HU. Um, they make it's Dan Tobacco and K and K make the other ones, um, but they make 50-50. If you go into tobacco reviews, you can search up certain blends and see which ones Carlos and Klopp make and which ones Dan Tobacco make. But if you're a fan of Dan Tobacco, then I think you have to try some of the HU blends for sure. Slightly harder to get your hands on as they only are the, as they are only available in Germany, but you can get them exported from the country. Pipes, pipe update. Oh, just Pipe update. Um, pipes are doing really well. I've got three commissions just now. One's here potentially. Um, just tuning up certain rod stock. Um, looks really great in this block. Looks like quite a nice block. Hopefully, it's promising. Although with briar, you can never. You can. I have to always hold your judgment as the block could reveal anything at any time. As you can see there, some really nice grain coming through. Nice, a lot of birds are on the base. I don't know how well it's become camera, but some nice grain. Um, this should potentially be a pot. That's a Ram Black Cumberland. Haven't decided. Um, the commissioner, oops, the commissioner is going very much my way. Is it that he said he wants a pot, a straight pot, ideally between five, five and a half inches, and that's it. And um, the rest is completely up to me, um, which I really like. That's a really nice. Um, 
way of kind of thinking, right, I need to try and pull this one out, out the bag I've got and I'm, an array of options and ways to go, um, which I'm excited about. I've got a Prince, which I should hopefully be starting tomorrow. Um, I'm awaiting an order of Rodstock. Uh, this is the last of the red and black Cumberland I have. Um, because it's a Prince, the stems will be much much larger than that. Um, so I'm hopeful that will come in tomorrow. Um, yeah, like I said, three commissions, um, which I'm very thankful for. Hopefully get them, get two of them done over the course of the next week, week and a half. And then I've got a commission for two or three weeks time where I'm going to, in two weeks time, contact the customer and we'll start talking on designs. Um, pipe 17, finished that yesterday. That came out really well, really happy with that. Um, it's a large apple, straight apple, really thick walls. Um, surprisingly light, it was, I think it's 61 grams for a pipe. Don't have it on me, it's upstairs, not in the workshop. Um, I should have brought that down. Um, yeah, really fantastic size of pipe. I think the, the walls, so the depth of the thickest walls um, I've made on a pipe. It's certainly out of my own pipe collection, the walls are much larger than anything I have. Um, it should be a fantastically cool smoker. Um, yeah, gorgeous pipe, really happy with that. And continue with pipes. I think the only update is I've got a batch of briar coming in. Um, tomorrow too, I think. If not tomorrow, it'll come in on Tuesday. Um, really looking forward to that. Um, it, it's briar that won't get used for six to eight months, if not more. Um, just because the briar, the fresh briar just now, a lot of it's coming out wet, so it needs time to dry and cure. Um, thankfully, I've got, I've probably got about a 10 month supply of briar just now. Um, so I'm fine for briar, like I say, for the next nine or 10 months. Um, but I kind of always want to maybe order 15 or 20 blocks every kind of two to three months. So I've, con got, so I've got a continuous supply coming in, aging. So when it's time to get to that batch of briar, it's well cured and, we're, and, well, and well aged. But especially just now, it's dry, which is an issue a lot of pit makers are finding when they're getting in fresh briar. Although, like I said, that's not an issue for me just now. Um, but yeah, pipe making's going really well. I, again, I can't thank him enough for the support. Um, pipe sales have going really well. And I look forward to continuing on. Really, as the year goes on, especially come kind of April, May, I'll be going full gear um, into pipes. Just now I try and get a pipe or two a week done. So eight pipes a month. Um, come April or May, hopefully get up to three, um, which will be good. But at the end of the day, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It isn't about the pipe volume to me, it's about, it's about the overall quality of pipes. Um, to me, if I'm churning out pipes every day, what if those pipes aren't up to my standard, then it's pointless. Um, that's why I kind of do just now pipe two pipes a week. And I'm happy with that because it means that I take my time on the pipes. I ensure that they're to the best of my ability and to the highest, the highest quality I can produce. So with that, I will finish my tea. I will say thank you guys for watching. And a quick update, although well, I should probably say this at the start, if, if anyone's still watching the video. Um, I will be going live again tomorrow night, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. UK time and which is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I hope you all can make it again. I might be making a pipe, I might not. It might just be a general sit back pipe and chat. But if I'm not making a pipe, it's chatting, and if I'm not chatting, it's making a pipe. Um, so yeah, it's 10pm 10 10 10 UK time, 
and wherever you are in the world you can try and work out where that is time zone wise for you um, I'm going to contact Phil at the Briar Report um, to hopefully put out a thing about my life for future um, because I can't believe it. I think there's 16 people on that at one point last week which I'm getting amazed um, completely amazed about um, but I think I think I posted a quick video the day before um, mentioning it so I want to do that to make people aware um, as I'm not always the best to update as this is the this video is 15 minutes into it and I'm only talking about it now so I need to make sure I kind of inform people in a easier way to put it simply so yeah I'll let my pipe this is the inaugural smoke and it's smoking very well I'm really happy with this pipe gorgeous shape too really nice so with that I want to say thank you guys for watching and if you have survived this long well done you deserve a prize and with that being said, I will see you guys in tomorrow's life, if you're able to attend. Thank you all. Cheers.